Hi, this is John Doe, aka Frags with the DNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. Today, we'll bring you Genesis by Subsonic, and we're gonna be focusing on the sort of like laser kind of uh, bass line that he has going on here, and we most likely gonna be focusing only on the mid range of it, okay? So, let me show you the original. That's the sound, you probably already figured out. Uh, so now let's check how it sounds with our sound on top of it. Oh yeah, let's dive right into Serum to show you what I've done with it. Let's start off by selecting our first oscillator. It's really important for this space, actually gonna give most of the character to it. And for that, I'm gonna go with Digital Icon S Kick. I love this wavetable. It's really cool for loads of different types of bass sounds. And we're gonna bring the random phase all the way down here, all right? And also the level, because as you could have noticed, it's super stabby sound. It's gonna rely a lot on this uh, envelope to, to kind of shape it up, all right? Uh, so uh, we can actually just go here and start doing this little shape, all right? Something like this for now, we're gonna tweak it but we can already hear, you know, um, what's going on here. So let's just feed a little bit on the wavetable position here. Set the rate to the same one as the tuners, is like eight notes. Cool. Now let's just start tweaking our wavetable here. Let's set this to band plus a negative. We can start getting this sound out there. And now let's bring the wavetable position almost to the maximum, two, five, six. We wanna make it like two, five. See? Now let's bring these two octaves down. So we're starting to get the sound we want, all right? Now we need to add a little bit more of an harmonic content uh, to make this similar to, to the one that Subsonic did here. So we're gonna turn on our oscillator B, all right? We're gonna tune this to two, two octaves higher than the other one, and we're gonna choose the analog BD Sin, okay? Bring the wavetip position two, five, six, up until the maximum and choose FM from H on the, um, the actual warping, okay? Now let's bring this halfway through, 50%. So we already hear those harmonics there, but we need to send uh, the same LFO uh, to shape the sound the same way. Bring the random phase all the way down, so it gets constant, see? Now we're starting to get that sound. We added just a little bit more to the harmonic field here uh, with this oscillator, so it helps. Now, filtering. We're gonna go with, uh, with the flanges here, all right? And we're gonna select phase 48 age six, right? So it's this one here, negative at the end. And we're gonna make it work a lot on the tops, not really like on the rest of the sound, that's not really what we need it for, okay? So we're gonna obviously just assign oscillator A and B. We're gonna see, because sometimes it works better by just assigning one of them, okay? So let's leave the cutoff somewhere around 12, all right? Bring the drive up and the high pass frequency around here, because we just want these frequencies, as I told you. So we can keep it somewhere around here, you know? 10K. We're starting to get there, all right? So with everything we have here in the patch so far, I think it gives us room to flip the screen, get into the effects tab of it, and start, you know, putting some sparkles on top. First thing, hyperdimension. Uh, we need this to be wide, but we don't need the, the hyper. We're just gonna click and increase a bit of the mix here on the dimension. Decent. A little bit of distortion to glue these sounds. 70% should do with the tube. Increase the volume a bit because we lost the volume with the distortion, so let's put it back there. A little bit of chorus, just to, once again, highlight the stereo field of the sound. It's up to you, but we should keep it somewhere in like 2K as well. 
And now a little bit of EQ to white light this, like the richness we've got on, on, on our mid range. We kind of want to keep it a bit more interesting. So we're going to add one of these notches and bring it up like this. Uh, I would say around 1K. You see like somewhere around here. Let's get similar to the original. Okay. Now that we got this, uh, we're just going to add a little bit of, um, of processing outside of Serum to sharpen it up. And we're probably going to come back to the patch just to do some final tweaks. The plugin I'm going to use uh, for uh, this patch here, it's going to be the Spurser by Kilo Hearts. Because um, it's really good because it creates, it creates like harmonic pinches on the spot you, you desire. So it's really good for these sort of like laserish, froggy kind of sounds. So I'm going to set this um, to somewhere. Uh, I know the track is like an F. And this is an F note. So if we set this to this 697, all right, hertz, 697 hertz, it represents an F note. So by that we know that they're not missing. You, know? you can tweak the pitch, pinch if you want to, but we want to keep it like flat. You hear the difference, like we well, yeah, add that extra like pitch, pinch, kind of, you know, and that's really interesting for these sort of sounds. Then let's wrap it up with a little bit of EQing, just to once again make sure we don't get anything here, because we don't want to do any part of the low end with this bass. Um, it's, it's another layer, you know, we want this texture uh, that plays on top of, of a sort of like a sine wavy uh, kind of sub that we hear on the original. So you just tame down this a little bit and make it dynamic. Right? And I think this is enough uh, for us to get there. So let's check um, our sound on top of the original to see if it kind of fits. This is it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one, peace!